I just don't like drama. <laughs> Gang, gang, that's all I'm on. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Deshaun King. Where have I been? I have not posted in a long, periodically time. And you know what? I missed talking to you guys directly. So we're gonna be doing a quick little nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna be showing you guys some new products I've been trying and also incorporating some old products that I haven't tried in a while and just updating you guys on what's been going on in my life. Like, why did I just disappear on YouTube for a month? I'm gonna be explaining myself, letting y'all in my business so if you're interested in that just continue watching but before we get into the rest of the video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also turn on my post notifications to be notified of all of my future videos okay so first and foremost i miss y'all <laughs> like i actually miss y'all so much i did not intend on taking a month away from youtube um, right after i uploaded my birthday weekly vlog that was like the last y'all seen or heard of me for like a month and that's very unlikely like me because I'm the kind of person I'm very consistent and I have a very strong work ethic I was the kind of person that would stay up all night to edit a video I still would do that but I kind of want to pace myself and actually give myself a schedule like okay this day you're gonna film this day you're gonna edit this day you're gonna rest this day you're gonna rest bus club another club another club plane next place no sleep. So as I go throughout the video, I'm not going to be discussing too in depth about the details of each product, but I will include little details and descriptions of the ingredients and whatnot off to the side of me. So the first product I'm going to go in with is the Derma E Universal Cleansing Balm. I actually got this in PR a couple of days ago. I actually love Derma E's products. The only downside is that since they are a naturally based brand, they don't really have a long shelf life. So that's why if I really like their products, I have to put them in my skincare fridge so that they last longer. So I've never tried this. It has rosehip, camilla oils, cocoa, and shea butters. This is used as like an oil-based cleanser or like an oil-based pre-cleanse. So if you're somebody that wears makeup, you can use it as something to remove your makeup. Or if you are somebody that likes to do the two-step cleansing process, you can use this for that. But yeah, as I was saying, I was not planning on taking a month off of YouTube at all. Like that's just extremely unlike me, especially considering since I started my channel, I was uploading at least twice a week. But you know what? It's true what they say, especially with like bigger YouTubers, whenever they take breaks, people be going through stuff and I went through a lot. I started a new job a couple months ago. I had quit my old job that I was working at for a long time. I was working at a spa. The spa was so toxic, oh my gosh. Whenever you guys saw me get Botox, and like facials and whatnot, I was getting that stuff done at the place that I was working. So I was getting it on the low low, you know, the low low low. So that was pretty cool. The only reason why I didn't want to like be open about that was because I'm very private. I'm open with y'all, but I'm also extremely private. Like there's a lot of things that I don't really talk about. I've had weird things happen to me before. If like people found out where I worked, they showed up to where I worked and yeah, no. But yeah, I was working at a really toxic spa. Like they could not keep their workers. They still can't. Word on the street is they still can't. But I ended up being like one of the people that stayed there the longest and they moved me up to being a manager. Like I ended up getting like two different raises within like three months. Like it was kind of crazy. And it's because I couldn't keep people. But I was also really good at my job and they relied on me for like a lot. So needless to say, when I ended up quitting that job, I kind of felt empty. And it's not even like I was passionate about that job. It it felt off to me because I was out of my routine and I had no idea what to do next. I went through a lot of different emotional transformations when it came to the different changes that I was making. So I do have a new job. I work from home now. I talked a little bit about that in my weekly vlogs. If you have not seen my weekly vlogs, I will link a playlist above for you guys to watch. You guys get to see behind the scenes of my life. I go into, you know, more detail and they're fun. But yeah, I started a new job working from home and it's a lot more peaceful. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to worry about co-workers gossiping, talking about me, being racist, conspiring to get me fired, you know, stuff that I experienced at the spa. If you guys want a story time about that, let me know. I, I don't like story times, but I gotta talk about that job one of these days because 
wow. But needless to say, even though working from home is a blessing, also been extremely difficult for me to actually balance my life. And I don't know, I feel like anybody can relate to this, but when you start a new job, you really have to like redo your daily routine. I have to figure out what time I need to wake up every day. I need to figure out, you know, how I'm gonna fit in like going to the gym. I need to figure out how I'm gonna fit in editing, filming. Like once I clock out of that nine to five, I clock right into being a content creator. I have two jobs. It is a lot, like two full-time jobs emotionally I just felt not motivated to create content because I felt very discouraged because I kind of felt off of my routine and I feel like a lot of that had to do with the mercury retrograde because a lot of things just went haywire for zero reason I'm gonna pause on that thought for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and wash this oil cleanser off okay so I went ahead and I washed that off and we're gonna go in with the CeraVe renewing SA cleanser this has been my staple for the past two months like I've been obsessed with this cleanser and it has salicylic acid Acid in it but it doesn't feel like there are any active ingredients in it that's how gentle it is and it also has vitamin D which is a really good antioxidant I like to do two pumps of that it foams nicely but not too much too so it doesn't over dry your skin so basically to wrap up that last point that I was making getting off of my nine to five even though I'm working from home I would get very tired I can't tell you how many times for the past month I've fallen asleep editing that last weekly vlog that was supposed to go up weeks ago but it took me forever to edit because I kept falling asleep I was so exhausted I'm working on just like having a healthy sleep pattern and not overworking myself at unreasonable hours of the night especially as a skincare creator because if I'm not getting my beauty rest what I look like coming on camera talking to y'all about under eye bags <laughs> and I'm not getting enough sleep I also asked you guys to send me some questions to ask for this video on my Instagram if you didn't get an opportunity to send me a question on Instagram make sure you follow me at King Deshawn so that the next time I do a video where I include you guys you can go ahead and send me questions and participate so one of the questions that I got was what keeps you inspired so while I was away what was keeping me inspired was other youtubers there's a reason why I'm doing this It's because I love YouTube I love watching youtubers I love seeing like what other people are doing to improve their lives but one of the people I've been watching is Lisa on Oha I don't know if that's how you say her name she's from the Netherlands um, if you guys watch her somebody let me know the correct pronunciation of her last name but I love her content her vlogs are top tier and she also has really good engagement too really good engagement on her channel other than Lisa I mean I watch the Atlanta girls too you know Kyra Aaliyah oh I've also been watching Anwi I think that's how you pronounce her name oh I love I love her vlogs I love the way that she edits her intros but that's what has been keeping me motivated you know that's what usually keeps me motivated watching people and being surrounded by people that kind of do the same things that you do or aspire to do and just staying motivated and focused on like what's really important and not being distracted. I choose to surround myself with people that keep me on the straight and narrow path to where I want to be. And that kind of brings me to the next topic that I wanted to talk about. I've been reevaluating my relationships with people. We need to normalize calling people acquaintances, okay? Oh, don't make that face. Ooh, ooh. Like normalize calling someone an acquaintance. For instance, I get to know you through social media. We start following each other. We interact with each other's posts. Let's say, you know, you give the vibe that you're a cool person let's say I add you to my close friends from that point you are an acquaintance we don't know much about each other we just kind of vibe off each other I was actually having this conversation the other day with my friend and we are just talking about like the word close what does it mean to actually be close to somebody if I am trying to get close to you I would have to then tell you about like my actual life getting close to somebody actually takes time for me it can take a really long time to actually say that you truly know me even people that have known me for years but yeah there's a difference between getting close to somebody and getting to know somebody so for instance let's say you are one of my acquaintances let's say we start to exchange numbers we're texting you know we're texting each other every other day or like we're texting like hey how was your day we're kind of catching each other up on like what's been going on in life we are in the process of getting to know each other not getting close I think it's important in friendships that we voice our boundaries you know all of these are qualities that I've been learning over the past month I've been distancing myself from quite a few people I would say my toxic trait is randomly distancing myself without any warning when I peep a red flag about somebody I don't tell them I'm not a confrontational person anymore I used to be and that used to get me in a lot of trouble
people. But now it's like I peep something and immediately I'm just like, okay, you know, I might mute them on social media so that I don't have to see them and just pretend that they don't exist. I felt like there were a couple like friends and acquaintances that I had around me that kind of wanted to be associated with me because they see the potential benefit for them down the line. They see things that I'm doing for myself to better my life. They see my potential. And I think there are some people that want to use me. Side note, I'm going to use the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. This was also sent to me in PR and this is actually my all time favorite product from Derma E ever. And I'm telling you, I use every drop of it. I really like this because the exfoliant part is dead sea salt. You get to feel that grainy texture to it and it just leaves your skin very smooth and glowy. But as I was saying, I've had friends go through who I'm following on Instagram just to see who I'm connected with, just to see if it's like somebody that has some status and they'll try to like interact with them. They'll either follow them. And it's kind of like they're trying to use my likeness. And that sort of thing kind of scares me because it's like, I don't even have a big platform yet. Like, why are you trying to use me before I even like get on you know what I mean like why are you trying to use me at all so when I peep certain things like that I will fall back very quickly and I will disappear and I'll pretend that you don't exist I just don't like drama but yeah over the past month I've just been eliminating people around me that don't need to be around me I'm telling you, it's like every year my contacts just get lower and lower and lower and lower. Speaking of contacts, eventually I do want to change my number just so that I can like officially disappear from people that I don't want to talk to anymore. I feel like God withholds some of my blessings because there are certain people around me that don't deserve to celebrate with me when I do receive that blessing. That's why I need to do my part and make sure that those people are gone so I can receive my blessings already so I can get out the trenches. Oh, and just to let y'all know, I am going to be reviewing Lori Harvey's skincare. I'm really excited because I know that video is going to do numbers. I know. I just know when I post that review, that's going to be my Bodak Yellow. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we have scrubbed all of this in, I'm going to go off camera to the sink and rinse this off and then we're going to continue. So next we're going to go in with the Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Peel Toner. This is probably my favorite product from Kiehl's of all time and that's saying a lot because I used to be in and out of the Kiehl's store. I really love this toner because it tightens up my skin and it also makes me feel like I have like a glass complexion. Lately this has been the secret to my glass skin complexion. Speaking of my skin, I had an allergic reaction to Method Body Wash. So if you guys saw the last weekly vlog I posted, that body wash actually broke me out really. I'm gonna include pictures. I'm gonna put pictures off to the side. My skin, my moisture barrier was broken. I was peeling, I was dry and scaly. If you were to like touch my skin, it felt like a lizard. Like I literally felt like I had reptile skin. It was disgusting. I felt so uncomfortable. It felt like it burned really bad. I'm so sensitive to body washes. I can only use Dove and Native. Those are the only two body washes that I can use. But yeah, that was one of the other reasons why I was not posting was because I was trying to recover from an allergic reaction. Like I can't get on camera looking like that. But by the grace of God, I ended up getting over that allergic reaction in about a week. And I used two products. I'm not gonna tell you guys what those two products are just yet be on the lookout for my fall favorites video i'm gonna put y'all on those two products literally saved my life so i'm gonna pause right here you guys see how hydrated my skin is and how glowy it is get this <laughs> but i'm so glad that i'm back to normal and that i don't look crazy minus my hair my hair looks crazy i have a haircut scheduled for saturday that's another thing since i started this new job i have to find a new barber because my regular person doesn't work on saturdays and sundays so i have to find someone else i feel like i need an ipad to get my life in order next i'm gonna go in with my peach and lily wild dew treatment essence i've had this product for a while i don't usually reach for it that often but this is a product that is really affordable if you're someone that's trying to get into having an essence incorporated into their skincare routine. I'll be so glad when I get my hair cut this weekend. I'll actually feel like myself. So after this next haircut, I'm gonna dye my hair platinum blonde again. And then after that for November, I'm gonna have ginger hair like towards the second half of November. And then following that, we're gonna use the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum, another product that I haven't reached for in a while. I'm gonna be decluttering my skincare collection collection pretty soon, but I'm going to save that for Vlogmas. So another question somebody asked me, they said, you seem happy and calm. Is that accurate? Are you doing okay? I mean, 
yeah, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I don't know why I always have like a negative connotation whenever somebody asks me, are you okay? I'm, I'm okay. I think part of me just like worries about the future a lot. I worry about my future a lot because I'm working so hard now so that I can relax later. Next, I'm gonna use the Istin K-Ox Eye Cream. You guys know I am obsessed with this product. I use it on my lips as well. Deshaun skincare tip, always put eye cream on your lips. The skin on your lips is very similar to the skin that you have underneath your eyes. It is very prone to aging and wrinkles. So I'm gonna answer one last question. What's one thing you learned while being away? I did learn that I need to get reconnected with God again because I fell off my prayer routine and I've just been so preoccupied in my mind that I forget to pray and forget to manifest. I would not be where I am right now if it wasn't for God. Finally, we're gonna use the Bubble Skin Care Hydrating Moisturizer. They also sent me this in PR. I'm actually really glad that they did because I didn't have the full hydrating set. I had the balancing set and I kind of wanted to see both to see how different they are. Bubble Skin Care is extremely affordable. You can buy it at Walmart. One pump is usually a lot for me, so I'll put it on the back of my hand and spread it out, and then I will dab it on. Don't forget that neck, child. My neck, my neck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now hold on. I forgot one more product. We're gonna use Key Soul Care Comforting Balm. I haven't used this in a while, but this is very hydrating on the lips. And we are finally done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really missed talking to you guys. You guys are gonna be getting a lot of new content coming soon. While I was away, I had so much time to plan content and videos. I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas this year, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna be taking Vlogmas very seriously now that I have an actual real vlogging camera this time. So you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of brand new content for me that I have never done. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also turn Turn on my post notifications so that you can be notified of all of my future videos. All of the products will be linked down below and if you would like to watch any more of my videos make sure you click the playlist above to binge watch more of my content because y'all know y'all want to keep watching me all day long. Y'all ain't got nothing to do so. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. See you later.